In August, cabinet resolved to increase salaries for scientists. As he has done time and again, the president stressed this point at the close of Science Week in Kampala on Wednesday. I'm determined to make sure that first of all, the scientists working for the government are well paid. The call has been heeded and the Minister of Public Service announced a new salary structure for scientists. A senior consultant will be paid 20 million shillings every month, while a junior consultant will be paid 18.5 million shillings. For graduate scientists, they will be paid 4 million shillings and medical graduates will be paid 5 million shillings every month. The average in a middle income society is a uh, something like uh, $1,500 times uh, the dollar now, the dollar is $3,700. Yeah? So we are talking of something like 5 million or something, 5 or 6. Yes, and if you got 5 or 6 million uh, every month, uh, certainly, yeah, let's say it will not serve, it will not clear all your needs because man's needs are actually endless. <laughs> but at least the basic needs will be covered. You will find a science teacher earning more than the head teacher of a school that that science teacher is teaching. So these salary discrepancies cause social issues. The Minister of Public Service, Mukasa Muroli, highlighted the gaps in the medical and engineering department's workforces. When we look at the district engineers in the local government, really those fully uh, appointed district engineers, they are not more than 25. Yet we have more than 137 districts, minus of course the cities, the new cities and the municipalities. You see? We only have 102 consultants in the various uh, hospitals that we have in the country. The president's argument for a higher remuneration for health professionals and science teachers is that they directly contribute to societal advances and improved livelihoods. Raymond Tamale, NTV.